Hey there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to award badges to players who played your games. Take for example our new game here, Pebble Heaven the next chapter. If you go to this page, the game page, and if you scroll down, you're going to see that this game has three different badges. The first badge, Novice, is rewarded to players who joins the game. The second badge here, the Star Pebbler, is awarded to players who have completed the first level of the game. The next batch here, the Superstar Batch, is awarded to players who have completed the first and second level of the game. Today we're going to learn how to create a batch and to award the batch to players who join the game. And by the way, I just want to mention here, this game here, Pebble Having the Next Chapter, is a brand new game that myself and the iGamer, the developer, have just created it. It's brand new, it's just public about a week ago, and in case you haven't played it yet, I'm going to include a link in the description of the video. You can click on the link and check out the game. It's a very new and exciting game. Let's now learn how to create a batch for your game. To create a batch for your game, first we're going to go to create.roblox.com. It is the Roblox Creator Hub. Once you're on this page, click on Creations. So right here is our new game, Pebble Heaven, the next chapter. It already has three batches in that game. I'm going to create the batch for this other game, Testing the Next Chapter. And by the way, if you're wondering, it is this game here, Test the Next Chapter. This is where we do all the testing of all the new stuff. And once we confirm that everything is working perfectly, that is the time when we move those things to this other game, Pebble Heaven, the next chapter, for people to enjoy. Alright, so now let's go back to Testing the Next Chapter. This is where I'm going to create a new batch to award to everyone who joins the game. To create a batch for this game, I'm going to go over here, you see the three dots, I'm going to click on the three dots, and I'm going to select Create Batch. On this next screen, I'm going to click on Upload Image. You can see here, I have selected an image, I have entered a name for this batch, and I have entered a description for this batch. Now if you scroll down, you should see a button, Create Batch. Click on that, and it is all done. Let's now go to the game to see if we can see that batch for this game. So I'm going to click on the three dots, and I'm going to view on Roblox. Now this is the game. Now if I'm going to page down, and you can see the batch is right here. So it's being processed. Once it's done, you should see the batch there. I think it's still waiting for moderation from Roblox before it becomes available. Anyway, once the batch is approved, then you should see something similar to this. Like if you go to your game and you page down, you should see your batch here with the name of the batch and the description of the batch. If your game has three batches, you should see one, two, three batches. But again, it may take some time for Roblox to process it. Anyway, so now we're going to go to Roblox Studio and we're going to look at how to put in a script to award this batch to everyone that joins the game. Here we are inside Roblox Studio. You can go ahead and go to the server script service and insert a script. Inside that script, you can insert the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring the batch service, where I'm going to use its API to award batches to players. Here we have a player added event, so it's going to do this for every player that joins the game. For every player that joins the game, we're going to give it 10 seconds before we award the batch to that player. To award the batch to the player, all you have to do is use this API of the batch service. The API is award batch, and this one comes with two parameters. The first parameter is the player user ID. Basically, the player is being passed in automatically when the player joins the game. So we're using the player user ID as the first parameter. And the second parameter is the batch ID. To get the batch ID, what you want to do is go back to your batch. So now I'm back inside the Creator Hub. I'm going to click on this game, testing the next chapter. And I'm going to look for batches here. I'm going to select batches and there is my batch that I have uploaded that I've created 
earlier. Now, if you hover your mouse cursor somewhere uh, at the top right corner of this batch, you should see three dots. Just click on that and click on Copy Asset ID. In case you couldn't find the three dots, you can also click on the batch and copy this long number here. That is the batch ID. Once you have copied the, the batch ID, just go back to the script. And you want to go over here and paste in that batch ID that you have just copied. So basically, when the player joins the game, it's going to kick off this player added event. It's going to wait for 10 seconds. And it's going to award this batch to that player that joins the game. Let's now play test and take a look. So I'm joining the game and give it 10 seconds. And I should get a batch. I like turtles. And there it is. I've been awarded a batch for joining this game. And this game, by the way, is a copy of Pebble Heaven, the next chapter. So come by and check it out. Again, the link to this game is going to be inside the description of this video. And now let's go and verify to make sure that I have received a brand new batch for playing that game. So I'm going to go to my profile and I'm going to scroll down. And here you see it. Test Pebble. This is my brand new batch for joining the test game. And that is how you award batches to players who joins your game. Everyone, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Peace.